Finally, it is now my great pleasure to hand over the G20 presidency to President Widodo. I wish Indonesia all the best in the coming year, and I trust that under your leadership, we will manage to, quote, recover better, recover stronger, as the motto of your presidency says. Thank you all. I'd also like to thank all of you for the thoughtfulness, the good spirit, and above all, the constructive attitude you've shown over the past two days. It wasn't easy. The Sherpas have done an extraordinary work over the past few weeks. We must thank all of us. We must thank them. The past few years had inflicted severe damages to our ability to work together. The health workers and the doctors who stood with us in our family photo are a powerful reminder of what all of us have gone and are still going through for some of us. But this summit gives me the confidence that we can restore the ties that bind us in the interest of the entire global community. As President Biden said, we want to remember the summit as the one where we succeeded. And indeed, if we look back at the last year, because this, these two days have only been the final step of a year long of work, hard work. We've reformed the international tax system. We've overcome protectionism in medical goods, secured more vaccines for the world's poorest. We've worked with the IMF, has just been recalled a moment ago, ensuring the $650 billion in special drawing rights and other pledges. So I asked myself, what do we mean when we say we've succeeded? But in what we succeeded? Well, we certainly pledged considerable resources. We also kept uh, 